Hey guys, today I'm starting a new renovation project and guess what today is? Yes, it is demo day. So come and check out what I got going on. So hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. I wanna uh, bring you along on a project that I'm getting ready to start. So uh, a couple of years ago, I redid uh, everything on this uh, side of my basement. We, everybody calls this the dungeon or they call it my man cave, whatever. Uh, but uh, I only got half of it done and uh, this has kind of been over here sitting in a holding pattern. Today, we are gonna start this project on this side. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take all of this grid, system down. Uh, I'm going to be changing it over to black. I'm going to be getting rid of I hate these fluorescents and I'll show you why. Uh, you run into the ballast going bad, the lights don't light good, and it's just always a pain in the butt. I hate dealing with these things. This is old school. Also, we're going to be doing painting. Uh, I've got some things up in the roof trusses to fix during this project. I'll bring you along for all that as well. So guys, let's get busy. Okay, I had a little surprise as I was tearing this apart. Um, you can see all of this black. At first, I thought it was from a mouse or something that had gotten up there. And I don't know if you can see all of this on the floor. Well, anyway, this has come. This is one of my air conditioning lines uh, that runs to the upstairs heat pump. And as you can see, this has been hot. And I know this line gets warm anyway, but I just for safety measures, I'm going to call in a heat and air guy and I'm just going to have him come and inspect this because that has gotten warm, uh, might be totally normal. Uh, obviously it's been this way since the early 90s uh, when we built the house, but I would feel better just having it double checked. So cool thing about doing a remodel is keeping your eyes out and doing inspections and looking to see and uh, obviously I'm going to do any improvements that I can from the 90s technology to today's technology. I'm going to upgrade some of this stuff just to make the house safer. So anyway, this is definitely, definitely one thing I'm going to get checked. So guys, one of the things I wanted to show you is this cool look tech tip and it took me a couple uh, evolutions to get to this and I can't get over it. it's worked as great as it has. Um, so at my house, I've got quite a few areas that had squeaky floors and I wanted to resolve that. And obviously while I've got all the grid down and I can get access up between uh, my, floor, my floor joist and up underneath the sub plywood subfloor, I wanted to go ahead and see if I could get this resolved. So what I found out was, work, and, and obviously let me show you this too. Uh, you can see part of the problem is, is when they put the nails down, they missed the joist. And so what you get is this, uh, when, they, when you walk on, this floor is moving up and down and uh, just ever so slightly. And um, it's either riding on a, um, um, a wax nail or either just wood like here in, let me see if I can show you this joint and the wood is just moving and it's rubbing against itself and uh, you're getting that squeaking noise. So you wanna be careful. You wanna make sure you don't use too big of a screw. Uh, but what I did is I just ran, I had my, uh, I got my wife uh, to go up to the areas uh, to where I had the squeaking. And then as she's stepping on it and it's making the sound, I come and find it underneath. And then what I would do is just, uh, I did not go into the wood, but I went in between the joists and there's little gaps in here 
uh, and I just barely run a screw up in. Uh, obviously, this is three quarters of an inch ply, and then I've got Luan board on top of that, and then my tile. So I'm not. Don't think I'm gonna cause any problems because I'm not putting this in far enough to buckle it. All I'm doing is putting it in far enough to get it to stop, just to stop that movement. So anyway, all I did is just run these screws in as she was stepping on it, and guys, the squeaks just went away. And I had about five or six areas that were doing it, and this worked beautifully to stop every one. So just wanted to share this little tip. Hope you guys will try it, and hopefully you'll have the success I did. Anyway, just wanted to share. Guys, remember, this will be a build series, so there will be quite a few videos in this series that I'm working on now. So please be sure and keep an eyeball out for it. Uh, also, I'm going to include up here in the end screens, be, sh uh, be sure to check out uh, the work that I did right before this, where I was working with Rough Cut and working on a real tricky section of trying to make my uh, tiles come together and working around a heat duct vent. It really turned out great. It's what I call rustic contemporary. Be sure and check that out guys thanks so much for tuning in i hope you're enjoying the videos please be sure and hit that thumbs up and subscribe and like and uh, guys i'll be seeing you soon because remember here at project next there is always one more so thanks for watching and we'll catch you later